fuck off. Really? For daycare? Yeah. It's about being yourself for me and not telling a story that's already been told by someone else because that's their story, that's not my story. And I think telling the story of me coming here from St. Lucia, I think that, that is essentially unique to me. London is fast. It's very, very fast, especially being someone who was brought up next to the beach with like two neighbours. London is very, very fast. <laughs> I mean, at first it was kind of like, oh, this is all fun, until it was like, the cold just didn't go away. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I got the snow and the cold just, just didn't stop. It just, just like cold throughout the entire fucking year, compared to what it is in St. Lucia. Sorry, I didn't know if I can swear, can I swear? I'd say there's different kind of branches to my style. The, the club side to it, which is quite straightforward and like club music, and then the side to it, which is more sort of kind of like emotional in that sense and more talks about my life. You float, I float, what's it gonna be? From stuff I brought from St. Lucia musically, I think it, it kind of took a while for me to get into what exactly I wanted to bring, bring along until I realised that I was kind of already doing it without actually knowing I was doing it with like percussion and stuff. It was mainly influenced by a lot of the Haitian music that, we, that I used to hear in the morning that my grandmother and stuff used to play. Um, people who inspired me to get into production. I don't know, Benga. Yeah. I mean, he's drums. These, these drums, I'm sorry. Just, just, you, can't, you can't get away from These drums are just infectious. Incredible. And uh, Mr. Wazo. And basically a whole bunch of the Ed Banger crew. Because I, I wanted to make that whole French sort of electro sound, which sounded horrible, but <laughs> it was my sort of attempt at trying to do that. I think it was the rebellion in it and the shit and the, yeah, it was, and the art always, especially in the videos and artwork and stuff like that, it always stuck out to me as just really, really, really good and forward thinking. It wasn't anything obvious. Versicolor started out of, um, I just wanted to put my own music out with my ideas of art and sort of what I wanted to kind of push. The reason I called it Versicolor is because um, St. Lucia's national bird is called the Amazon of Versicolor. It's a parrot, it's a like, beautiful parrot. Going forward um, with Versicolor, because I, I, the only reason I released my own, only my music last year for it was because I wanted other people to see the outlook for it. And you yeah, had to give people the opportunity to, to see what it would be before approaching them and going, hey, do you want to release on my label without like no releases or anything like that? Um, I think freedom is incredibly important for my music. I think it's because it, it, it kind of is where it all starts for me. It's being able to literally talk and talk about whatever I want to talk about in my music and express what, whatever I want to express. And going forward, I just wanted to show what I like and what I listen to and what inspires me through the label, for people to, yeah, see that. <laughs>